In this video, we're going to look at dealing with what we call reverse percentage questions. Now, in these questions, you'll be given information about a percentage increase or decrease. You'll be given the current value of an object, and you'll be asked to work backwards, to go in reverse, to find the original value. Okay, so here's an example of a question. We're given information regarding a percentage increase, and we're told about the current value. And we're asked to go back in time and find out how much it was worth before the rise. Okay, now, what we've got to think about is the current value, okay, in terms of a percentage. Now, we know that the original price is to be thought of as 100%. So the current value is the original price plus the, pro the increase of 10%. So that tells us that the current value of this home is 110% of what it was before the prices went up. Now, so we know that 110% is what we have here. So we'll see that. We'll see 110% is equal to 132,000 pounds. Now, what are we wanting to do? We're wanting to work out the original value. We're wanting to work out 100%. Now, we can't just jump from 110% to 100%. We've got to go and first of all find 1%. Now, how do we go from 110 to 1? Well, you know that anything divided by itself gives you 1. So if we're dividing that side by 110, we'll divide this side by 110 because what you do to one side, you do to the other. And that gives us that 1% 1 is 1,200. And then how do I scale up from 1% to 100%? I just multiply both sides by 100, and that tells me that the value of the home was 120,000 pounds. Okay, does that sound reasonable? Is that in keeping with the wording of the question? Yes, it is. Now, the main mistake people make with questions uh, on this topic is they just assume that the percentage is a percentage of the current valuation, but it's not. It's a percentage of an unknown value, so you can't just launch uh, into the question in that way. You've got to do it in this, using this approach. Now, let's have a look at a second question. A shop sells a watch for £238. It's a sale in force. Everything's been reduced by 15%. And you're asked again to go back in time and work out the original price of the watch. Well, what do we know? We know that the current value of the watch is less than the original value. Now, if we think of the original value as 100%, the current value is 100% minus 15%. Okay, so our watch is currently worth 85% of what it once was. So 85% is what we've got here. Okay, so let's write that down. 85% is equal to 238 pounds. Now, like we did in the previous question, we want to work out the original value. We want to get to 100%. And we first of all have to find out 1%. To you go from 85 to 1, divide 85 by itself. What you do to one side, do the same to the other. And 238 divided by 85 gives us £2.80. We then multiply everything by 100. And we find our, our answer. Is 280 pounds and that sounds reasonable given that our watch is now 238 pounds and it's come down in price by 15 percent okay let's have a look at a third question jenny buys a vase in a car boot sale an antiques expert values it and she finds that it's worth 90 pounds then you're told that this is 20 percent more than she paid for it so what price did jenny pay for the vase so there you have the current valuation you have information on a percentage increase, and you're asked to go back in time and find the value of the vase. So, what do we know? We know that the current value is more than she paid for it. The original value, if we think of it as 100%, to that we can add 20%, and that tells us that what we're talking about here is 120% of the original value. So. This price here, £90, 
is 120%. So we say what we know. And we write that 120% is equal to 90 pounds. We want to find out 100%. We do that by first of all finding 1%. Divide 120 by itself, and we find 1%. So 90 divided by 120 is just 0 0.75, 0 so 75 pence. Multiply both sides by 100, and we find that our vase was originally priced at 75 pence. Okay, let's do one more example together. Jack buys a car and sells it six months later for 13530 making a loss of 18%. Find out the price that Jack originally paid for the car. So the current value is less than what it once was. So it's the original value minus 18%, which is 82%. Okay, so this selling price, if you like, is 82% of what Jack paid for it. Okay, so let's write that down. 82% is equal to 13,530 Okay, now we want to find 100% and we do that by first finding 1%. Anything divided by itself gives us 1. What do you do to one side? Do the same to the other. 13,530 divided by 82, that will give us 165 pounds. Multiply both sides by 100, and we can scale things up to find 100%, and that's going to be 16,500. Okay? So that's how you do reverse percentage questions. Take a three step approach. Okay? Say what you know, find 1% and then find 100%. So here's a couple of questions that you can do yourselves. Firstly, Captain Pugwash sells his yacht for £13,000 at a loss of 20%. Find the price he originally paid for the yacht. And secondly, the value of a plot of land increases by 23% over a period of five years. It's now worth 307500 Calculate its value five years ago. Okay, so pause the video, do this yourselves, and compare your answers and see how you did. Okay? So for this question, the current value of the yacht is less than what was paid for it by Captain Pugwash. It's the original price minus 20%, which is 80%. See what you know? You know that this £13,000 is 80% of what Captain Pugwash paid. So 80% is equal to 13,000. We want to find 1% and we then want to find 100%. Now, 80 divided by 80 will give me 1. 13,000 divided by 80, that's 162 pounds and 50 pence and if I multiply both sides by 100 we find that our boat had a price of one, uh, 16,250 when Captain Pugwash bought it okay and our last question the plot of land what's the current value Well, it's gone up in value, so it's the original price, which is represented by 100%. It's gone up by 23%, which gives us 123%. We know that this 123% is what we're talking about here. So say what you know. You know that 123% is equal to 307,500. Okay. You then want to find 
and lastly you want to find 100 percent. Now, divide both sides by 123 because 123 divided by itself is 1 and that gives us 2500. Okay, now to go from 1 to 100 we just multiply by 100 and we find then that the original price paid for the land was 200 and 50,000. Okay, so that's a three-step approach to answering reverse percentage questions. So, you now have no excuse for not knowing what to do. Okay, hope that was helpful.